So in this series, I will explore how I will be developing uh, an indie game in RE Engine. I'm no expert in uh, developing indie games. Uh, I just was interested in Unreal with all those fascinating uh, features like uh, Lumen, Nanite, MetaHuman. Uh, so the Unreal Engine 5.1 is amazing to be honest. Uh, I, I developed uh, a game before on Unity. Uh, I didn't get any money from it. It's like something I did in, uh, while in quarantine. I just wanted to, to, to learn. I had time. Uh, usually I'm busy to do such stuff. I thought the engine got me uh, really interested. To go back in the past, I've always been interested in PCs. I did programming like games, following like old books and stuff in the early 90s. When I was a kid, did like a, a few games and they were running and so I didn't actually come up with them, it's just like following code and stuff. And then probably a, another game that I did was like chess, I did like the weird thing I did like a program called uh, 4D. The program wasn't meant for games but I managed to do a game in it so it was interesting. Uh, after that, I did uh, a 2D game, it's like a puzzle kind of game, uh, and uh, Corona SDK, it's a 2D game. Also, it was uh, just uh, uh, something to try out. I, didn't, uh, I, I launched it on iOS and Apple Store, but I didn't get anything. It's not to discourage you, my main focus didn't is not to make money, to be honest. Uh, I have other means, I'm a web developer. I've been uh, uh, mostly working with PHP and LAMP stack. I work in Laravel, uh, develop websites. I used to work for uh, clients all over the world as a freelancer. So this is the game I ended up using in uh, Developing, let's uh, see if I can. This game, like, this is Corona, he has like the Corona virus head, uh, which I had to. I bought the character model and I had to, like, put connect the face with the character controller. I told you about the opposite, use built already, uh, like, uh, done environment. I had to do the navigation mesh and stuff. Even buying the assets and character and buying the controller is very hard to do games because just the logic, connecting everything together takes a lot of time and effort to learn. But I don't want to discourage you, it's doable. You can do it as solo, but don't do everything yourself. Try to uh, buy stuff, uh, use other stuff to minimize the time or you never finish. Yeah, this I used the fog. You can change characters in the game. Here's the monster. It's a big map, to be honest. The characters are not very high quality. Uh, this asset, actually, the environment comes in. Uh, you can transfer to HDRP, but which I didn't. This is standard graphics. It's kind of very high. I did like, like two or three years ago. You can select the characters here, there's a menu. And so yeah, basically I'm gonna show you a video now. So here's the 2D menu. And you can choose characters. As I said, it's a big map. I don't know, I think it's like 4x4 four four kilometers. You can choose a lot of... Uh, like weapons, ammunition. Here's the Corona Monster again. As BV said, you know, he's like a, I saw like a golem, I think, a character that I bought, and the head I attached like a corona virus uh, to the head. He's scoring how many headshots, body shots. There's like fog again, this is like halo when the character is almost gonna die, and the halo also can kill the anyone that can get into contact with it. Uh, there's a sniper, you can zoom in and out, there's an avalanche, there's an effect. When you 
so here's the coronavirus you get strong each time you kill him uh, so when you're about to kill him he flees away so he can get chance to recover health and there's like this fog to uh, make it harder for you to see where he escapes and it's for Windows, Mac and Linux so now we're gonna focus on the game so the game is gonna be 3D and VR so I know it's over complicated things sometimes I don't think you have to jump into VR because like 2D games are hard 3D games are even harder sometimes and VR is like spicing things up so I'm jumping head over toes I think this is the way to describe it it's very hard uh, and has a steep learning curve it's doable but I've noticed that you have to learn a lot of things so my main focus here in this series is not to teach anybody actually to learn from more experienced people and maybe people watching it will learn something from the experience I learned myself so there's a lot of things uh, in game development you have like design, 3D animation like uh, building the landscapes uh, the storyline, it's a lot so I'm gonna take it like episode by episode uh, month by month uh, like tweaking stuff all, uh, all the time along the way uh, so it's gonna be a learning journey for me and the viewers I'm not claiming I'm an expert I'm gonna do something maybe I'm gonna see the comments some people will, will gonna comment and give me a better way I'm gonna adjust and see so uh, take this with a grain of salt hopefully we can all benefit from this and uh, uh, and get to learn on the because it's a beast to be honest uh, in comparison to, to uh, unity I feel it's harder but uh, I'm gonna take it step by step for like the first way I'm how to like import characters how to animate them how to try blueprints uh, uh, tying things together sound like uh, VR the VR aspect of it so uh, I'm gonna take it step by step so in next video I'm gonna tackle how to install the uh, on the das to on the uh, plugin or extension how to configure it it won't be step by step it will give you clues on how to do it yourself in later episodes uh, i will show you how to import uh, it took me a while to figure it out uh, a couple of days uh, the unreal engine sometimes documentation is a bit lacking in that regards and even does so you have to like uh, find scraps from everywhere so i managed to find a solution i'll showcase it soon thanks a lot and see you next episode